this is Paul Check. Welcome back to my video blog. Today I thought I'd share a little something from my book, How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy, page 109, zone 3, where I teach you how to use a Swiss ball crunch type exercise to balance your energy centers in zone 3, which is the third chakra. Chakra means energy vortex or wheel. And chakras are placed at key positions throughout the body that are linked to specific glands, organs, arteriovascular plexus, and nerve plexus. And the chakras are really the energy systems that integrate our mind or our psyche with our physical body. Chakras also receive information from the outside world so we can integrate it with our inner world and they also send information from our inner world out to the outer world as a means of communication. The front of the body relates to the receptive pole or the feminine pole of our chakra system. Well, the chakras at each key location on the back of the body, in other words, the same location in the front, second chakra here in the front, receptive, second chakra in the back, expressive. Front chakra's desire, back chakra's will. So the front of the body and the back of the body work as a sending and receiving type system where we bring things in and we give them out. Now I'm sharing this with you is be because a lot of people have disruptive digestion and disruptive digestion often has to do with emotions that are being held, frustrations, and particularly in the third chakra, the theme is, who am I? What is my contribution to the world? So when we're having a hard time expressing our individuality, identifying our individuality, or for some reason our self-esteem is challenged by criticism from others or expectations that aren't being met from self or others, we tend to hold on to too much tension as a means of armoring our emotions. We often armor ourselves to hold emotions in so we don't say things that are on our mind and get ourselves in trouble in relationships. And we armor ourselves to metaphorically shield ourselves from things getting into us. A simple way to release the tension is to couple extension over the Swiss ball like a crunch with breathing and just give yourself permission to let go of all the pent-up beliefs, feelings, fears, emotions, judgments, etc. And just know that you're safe and that you can breathe. And if you're listening to this video, I'm sure you probably have access to food, water, shelter, warmth, and love in your life. So if we have those things, it means that we can step aside from our story long enough open the muscles up, that allows the emotion to flow through your body more naturally. So by simply getting on the Swiss ball, getting your body into a position like you were going to do a crutch, and as you lay over the ball, inhale and raise your arms up. And as you roll back, the stretch moves down lower in the abdominal. So wherever you feel the tension, just breathe into it. So as you inhale, you want your belly to expand into the tension. And then as you exhale, just use your legs. And you don't want to actually turn it into a crunch exercise like working out. Just come forward to let yourself out of that position. And then inhale. And stay there till you feel you need to breathe in or breathe out. As I do it, I like to think positive, dream affirmative thoughts, such as, my mind and my body are healthy. I am free of all disease. Or, I am on task with the creation of my dream. All my objectives are met successfully today. In the philosophy of change, this would be called priming. So if you start your day 
and you know you have a tendency to be a little wound up about something, you can prime the pump by opening up the feminine chakras or the receptive chakras and allowing yourself to balance the flow of energy through your body. I recommend at least 10 breaths, so inhaling over the ball to the stretch, stay there till you need to breathe out. Exhaling, pulling yourself forward on the ball so you don't actually have to do the crunch aspect because we don't want to tighten, we want to relax. And then after 10 breaths, stand up and just relax and you'll notice that energy moves through you much more efficiently. Now if you're having a hard time applying yourself where you have a lot of ideas and you just can't seem to make anything happen, and you're having this tension in the front of your body, you may find that it's helpful to follow it by activating the will chakras. So then you could just simply turn over on the ball and do a little prone cobra where you inhale, hold yourself in good structural alignment when you need to exhale, relax, inhale, I am successful in my endeavors. I am, safe. I am safe in all my relationships. That tonifies the extensor system. Oftentimes when people get pulled down from all the emotional guarding, their head comes down and forward, their pelvis then goes forward, and this disrupts the normal flow of energy through the body and the normal mechanics of the body. So those of you that find that you do have this tension in your abdomen, or that you have a hard time with your digestion and elimination. After you open the front up, if your posture is not orthopedically correct, ear over shoulder, shoulder over hip, hip over knee and ankle, in a nice vertical natural line without forcing it, then activating the extensor system, like I just showed, actually excites the will chakra. So you can go from getting through the unresolved emotions and activating the willpower or the doer in you, and that's one of the ways I get a lot of things done. Know that these things are normal. We're all like a living garden, and just like wind blows in a real garden, the wind of emotion and the winds of judgment and the winds of deception and confusion and pain are part of everybody's life, but learning to be with yourself and step aside from it for a few minutes and participate in your own healing is essential if you really want to become a healthy individual and feel free in your life. So thanks for joining me today.